What's up YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Now today I'm gonna attempt the impossible. I have a major fall haul. Now I know it's not quite fall yet, but it's never too early to start looking at some fragrances that you might wanna consider getting, or you might wanna consider dusting off the shelf if you already own for your fall rotation, for your cool weather rotation. So I'm excited to bring you these eight fragrances. When we come back, we'll go over the notes in them, kind of give you guys an idea of what they look like in terms of the presentation, what they smell like. That way you can add them to your list to get or cross them off. That and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Now I said I was attempting the impossible by jamming eight fragrances into a single video, but I have done the unboxing already and I'm gonna fuse that in to kind of mesh it in together to give you an idea of what the fragrance looks like, a 360 of, of the presentation, and then we'll jump into the notes. So let me kind of stay focused here and we'll jump to our first fragrance. The very first fragrance we're gonna take a look at in this massive fall haul is an Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance that came out in 2020. The bottle's really cool. It reminds me of one of those bottles that spices come in, you know, like you've got basil or something. The lid actually is glass. That makes it kind of heavy. And it's also magnetic. The little plate on the front is actually felt. And the Abercrombie and Fitch Authentic Night is kind of a copper or brass looking color, which is really cool. It stands out on the felt. So overall, the presentation is really nice. But what does it smell like? We're gonna do a spray test really quick and then I'll tell you guys what it smells like. Really good atomizer. Oh man, you guys are gonna love this. Authentic Night is really good. Really, really spicy. It's lightly sweet. Uh, must have some lavender in there. It actually reminds me of a Jean-Paul Gaultier kind of Lamal-like fragrance. Authentic Night reminds me of Ultramal, except not quite as sweet and not quite as bubblegummy. It's got that JPG or Ultramal kind of DNA in it. That's unusual, but it's very spicy. It's very warm and inviting. Definitely a seductive date night fragrance for sure. Opens with apple, rhubarb, and lotus. The heart is also very much like Ultramol. It's got lavender, there's tonka bean, and vanilla. And it's resting on a base of ambroxan, leather, and oak moss. So great date night fragrance, great overall signature scent for cooler weather. Abercrombie and Fitch Authentic Night for Men. The next fragrance I'd like to feature in this major fall haul is a Chopard fragrance called... Chopard Oud Malachi. Chopard is a fantastic house and the Malachi line of fragrances are all very spot on, very good quality. And Chopard Oud Malachi promises to be a really nice oud fragrance. It opens with grapefruit and lavender. You've got leather in the heart, tobacco in the heart, some other spices. And then in the base, you've got amber and oud. All together, it sounds like a formula for success. So let's go ahead and check out that smell. Atomizer is awesome. 
Man, it smells so good, so good, so good. Okay, so you know how a lot of people say that Versace Oud Noir is the best starter oud? It's been called a starter oud. I disagree, and Chopard Oud Malachi is the reason for that. This is what I would call a great starter oud because it's almost like taking an oud and making it mass appealing and head turning. If there is an oud that's going to turn heads and get you compliments, Chopard Oud Malachi will definitely do that. If you don't already own it, I would definitely add this to a must get list for fall Chopard Oud Malachi. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at another oud, and this particular oud is from Hugo Boss. It is Hugo Boss Oud Aromatic. The Oud that is in the cool green bottle. Now Oud Aromatic promises to be just that. It came out in 2019 and it basically features three primary notes. You've got orange blossom, you've got myrrh, and then of course Oud. One of the primary components of any Oud fragrances is the, the Oud or agar wood. And so that is in the base. So you've got orange blossom as kind of an open introductory note melting into or merging into a myrrh heart with an oud base. So let's check out that smell. Atomizer is great. Oh wow, that is amazing. It's amazing to me that more people aren't talking about this or maybe I'm just too busy doing videos to watch videos, right? I'm sure there are some channels out there that are featuring this, but definitely needs to be talked about more. It's a combination of orange blossom, honeysuckle, and oud. So it's a very honeyed, sweet kind of oud. I would have to put Hugo Boss's oud aromatic beside Chopard's oud malachi and say one for one, they're very, very similar in terms of how pleasant they make oud. This would be more like a sweet, youthful clubbing kind of oud, and this would be more like a sweet, honeyed kind of oud. But both of them are very much shying away from the fecal or animalic or challenging kind of oud. The oud that nobody really cares for unless they're just specifically oud aficionados. You're not going to be wearing these if you're an oud snob, but these are definitely for mainstream people. They want to have oud in their fragrance, but they don't want it animalic. These are perfect for that. All right, guys, the next fragrance I want to feature in this major fall haul is we're sticking with the Hugo Boss and we're sticking with the oud theme. And you can probably guess what this next one is. Hugo Boss Oud Saffron. It should come as no surprise that this contains saffron. It also contains rose, it's got labdanum, and of course, oud, the primary component. So let's check out that smell. Oh yeah, spray it right on my arm there. Oud Saffron is not quite as sweet. It's not quite as honeyed as Oud Aromatic. Oud Aromatic is, is more lighthearted. This is a darker, richer kind of Oud. So where I, whereas I would say Oud Aromatic is more playful, this is more serious and this is more refined. So let's say if you were going to a upscale gathering, 
oud saffron might be the oud that you would want to, to showcase in that case and it's got rose in it anything with rose that is a non-femme or a masculine rose is definitely especially when partnered with oud very refined and very upscale and that's the kind of vibe this is carrying but it's not so upscale that you can't wear it casually it feels more like a red carpet kind of affair than it does casual. Beautiful, beautiful saffron. The saffron, of course, is a major player in this. You immediately get that in the open. Rose starts coming into the heart of this, and then, of course, that nice oud background is just the backbone of the fragrance, as it is in both of these Hugo Boss oud fragrances. All three of these ouds have been amazing, and I think they are must-owns. Hugo Boss Oud Saffron. As it turns out, jamming eight fragrances into a single video isn't in your best interest, so we're turning this into two parts. This is the very first part of the massive fall haul, and tomorrow we're going to do the other four, so make sure to tune in and see if they're equally as amazing as these four were. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to check out this video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.